In my lab, we study language development, social communication, and social cognition in the neurotypical population, as well as in people on the autism spectrum, from early development through adulthood. In one of our lines of work, we look at how social interactions and early development can impact the learning of language. So for example, the learning of novel words, new words. We are currently looking at this in a study that looks at the effects of learning from on-screen media for example, video chat or Skype calls. And in this study, we are manipulating different types of social interaction and how they impact a child's ability to learn new words. We're really interested in how different types of social interactions may impact a child's physiological arousal as measured by their pupil dilation, which may be related to their eventual learning, so their kind of capacity to take in new information. And the applications of this work are to design better media for young children where they're actually really facilitating their language learning and their development. In a large collaborative project, we're working with a community organization that provides vocational support to adults with autism and adults with intellectual disabilities to try to understand the impact that their services have and to work more broadly through networks of employers to increase opportunities for people with autism. So our work on bilingualism and autism really speaks to a need that many families who are living with autism have for educational advice on how they should raise their kid, you know, bilingually or not. And it's really gratifying to be able to provide them with evidence in this growing literature showing that there's no additional delay imposed by bilingual exposure and that in fact there are many advantages on different levels that are really important to quality of life. So it's wonderful that we're able to do that for now and I really hope that that in the future we'll have more educational programs that are bilingual that are adapted for children with special needs as well.